Next question. Erica is conducting a survey about the proposed increase in the sports budget in the hometown school district. Which survey method would likely contain the most bias? In other words, which of these survey techniques will give you the least reliable result or will only represent the smallest group? Right, again, with surveying, the idea is that you have to survey you know, this group of people, all these people to survey, and, and you want to represent all of the people the smallest amount of surveys, right? You don't want to have to go out and, rep and ask everybody the question, but your small group should try and, and represent everybody. So uh, this first one's pretty good, right? You ask every third person entering the hometown grocery store, um, except the people entering the grocery store, depending on what time of day you go or what types of grocery items uh, the store sells um, will, of course, only represent certain people, right? If they're if the items are very expensive, only the very wealthy will shop there. But however, this this is not that bad because they're going every third person, and it's just a grocery store after all. So it is biased, but it doesn't seem so terrible to me. The next one, Erica asks every third person another good random technique: leaving the home to hometown shopping mall. So again, there is some bias there. You know, who is shopping at the shopping mall? People with enough money to go shopping. The people that can't afford shopping won't be there, and you'll never know how they feel about it. Or the people who are, you know, in general, if, especially if it's about a proposed increase in the budget, that means you would be asking people who have the money to shop about asking for more money in the school district. But what about the people who can't afford to go shopping? How will they feel about the proposed increase in budget? Right? They won't feel very good about that, but you're not really going to get them if you're only surveying people who are going shopping. Okay, you ask every fifth student entering the hometown high school on Monday morning. Well, that is really biased because you're only going to be getting students, not even teachers or parents, only the people, students in this case, who probably aren't going to be voting on the budget. Last, we have Erica asked every fifth person leading Saturday's hometown high school football game. Okay. So this one as well, it's pretty biased, right? Because um, you're asking only people going to the high school football game, people with the, with with school spirit, right? I guess if they're there for the game, they're really into the school and the activities, and then they know that the budget will affect your football team or whatever. Those people will be most likely probably to support a budget increase. So that's your most biased right there. Because, again, the people going to the football game, um, of course are supporting the school and I mean the students are also biased here because they go to the school and they'll want their school to be supported however maybe not every student really cares about having a budget increase but I would guess that everybody leaving the Saturday hometown high school football game will be a part of the community and therefore really want to have the budget increased so I would say four is probably the most biased although you could argue that three is also extremely biased um, as well. So I'm, I'm, I wouldn't do this often, but I'm going to circle both. I don't think there is a definite answer here. Um, you can really argue either one. Okay, next. A survey is being conducted to determine which types of television programs people watch. Which survey and location combination would likely contain the most biased? Same type of question where we're trying to find the most biased. So usually the smallest group is the worst, right? Because they'll represent the, lo the smallest amount of people. Um, here, and if, if you're only asking 10 people who work in a sporting goods store what they want to watch, they're really going to probably say things that relate to the, the theme of the store that they're working in. That's going to be extremely biased. 25 people entering a grocery store, it's a larger sample size, it's less biased, and they're at a grocery store, so they're shopping for all types of items, right? Many people shop of different walks of life, all sh shop at the same grocery store. That's certainly less biased than the first one. 50 people, even more people, um, and they're in the mall. Well, lots of people are able to go shopping. Of course, people who can't afford to go shopping won't be there, but that's less biased, I think, than the sporting goods store. Randomly surveying 75 people during the, the day in a clothing store. Well, again, all people need clothes, so uh, of course, only people with money will be shopping there, but that'll be more random than the first survey sampling. Let's say 10 is the most biased. Also notice they don't even use the word random in the first two choices. They only use it in the, the second two. Okay.